A table saw crosscut sled is a versatile, useful tool and an easy one to make. I make sleds in a variety of sizes, so I'm not constantly using a wide sled to cut off narrow boards. Today I'm using a piece of half inch Baltic birch plywood, 16 inches wide by 38 inches long for the base of my sled. I have a scrap of tiger maple about 16 inches long for the runners and two pieces of white pine that I've milled flat, straight and square on all four surfaces that's about 3 inches wide and 38 inches long. Start by milling the stick of maple to thickness. You want the board to slip into the miter gauge slots of your saw, loose enough to slide but not rattle around. Rip two runners off the stick that are slightly thinner than the depth of your miter gauge slots. My slots are 3 eighths of an inch, so I'm ripping at 5 sixteenths. To get ready for the assembly process, drill two countersunk holes in each runner, one at each end. Because the runners on my sled are 5 sixteenths of an inch thick, and I'm using half inch plywood for the base, I've decided to go with 5 eighth inch screws so that the screws would have plenty of hold but not come through the base of the sled. You may need to adjust the screw size to fit your materials. Drop the runners into the miter gauge slots. Lay the plywood in place, making sure it is relatively parallel to the edge of the saw. Then slide everything out beyond the front edge of the saw, far enough that you can insert the screws. Test the slide of the assembly to make sure you haven't pinched the runners in the slots. Push the assembly out the back of the saw far enough to insert the other screws. Then test again to make sure that the assembly still slides freely in the miter gauge slots. Make any adjustments if necessary. Slide the assembly out the back of the saw again and screw the rear fence in place. It doesn't need to be square to anything but flush with the back edge of the plywood looks neat and clean. Raise the saw blade high enough to pierce the plywood base of the sled and cut all the way through. Lay a square along the saw kerf and clamp one side of the front fence to the sled base. If you're having trouble lining up with the saw kerf, Cut a thin strip that slips into the saw kerf and use that as a guide for your square. Double check that your fence is still straight and then clamp it on the other side. Now you can screw the fence in place from the underside of the sled. To test, use a wide board with a straightened edge that has been ripped parallel. Make a cross cut, flip it over along its edge, and make a second cut. If you've taken an equal amount on the second cut, your sled is square. Of course, you could just check the end of the board with a square. Either way, you've made an accurate, versatile cross cut sled in just minutes. Happy cross cutting!